In this video, we're going to go ahead and configure a virtual proxy configuration for ClickSense SAML with Active Directory Federation Services. But to start, we're going to go to the Active Directory Federation Services configuration and open up the Active Directory Federation Services Manager. And we want to take note of a couple of URLs. The first URL we want to take a note of is the Federation metadata. This URL is located in the endpoint section of the ADFS service. We'll go ahead and we'll copy this to, uh, or just make note of it and copy it to like Notepad. And then the other items we want to look at are the claim descriptions. And I'm going to look at the schema definition uh, for the UPN. I want to copy that and just hold that aside. And then also for the group, because I want to bring in, bring in groups when we do our Active Directory Federation Services configuration. Before I go into the QMC and start the configuration of the virtual proxy, I need to download the metadata from Active Directory Federation Services. To do that, I'm going to put in that Federation metadata URL I copied a moment ago. I'll save that file to my hard drive. And I'll go and navigate to that file. And once I'm uh, find that file, I'm going to open it up in a text editor. I like to use Sublime Text. Inside of Sublime Text, I'm going to go ahead and do a search for a term called Rule Descriptor. There should be four entries for Rule Descriptor in this file uh, for opening tags and ending tags. I'm going to pick that last ending tag, and then I want to highlight all the way from that last closing tag to the very first open tag of the Rule Descriptor. And once I find that value, I'm going to go ahead and delete all of that information from the metadata. If I keep that in the metadata, then ClickSense won't be able to recognize this identity provider metadata. So it's important to remove this ahead of time. I'll save the file. And now what I'll do is I'll go into the QMC and hit the virtual proxies. So I'll click on Create New. And in the description, I'll type in ADFS. And then I'll type in for the prefix ADFS. Keep in mind, these can be any values you want them to be. I'm going to add uh, ADFS to the end of the session cookie header name. And then inside of load balancing, I'm going to choose my central node as my load balancing node. Now I'll open up the authentication section inside of the configuration. And under the authentication method, I'll choose SAML. And then for the SAML host URI, I'm going to type in the URL to my ClickSense server. It's very important that you understand that this is the URL for whatever host name the ClickSense server is going to run with. So in the case of this system, it's sense22.112atoms.local. And then for the entity ID, I'm just going to type in ADFS. Then I will go and navigate to the Federation metadata I edited a moment ago. And for the user ID, I'm going to go back to those URLs I copied earlier and input the UPN URL for the user ID. And then for the user directory in square back brackets, I'm going to add ADFS. Now, you'll see that there's the SAML signing algorithm. The SAML signing algorithm here is uh, for the certificate the signing certificate that the ClickSense server is going to put into the metadata. By default, the ClickSense server, when you're using the self-signed certs, is generating a SHA-1 certificate. If you end up using a SHA-256 certificate, or a SHA-2 uh, certificate as it's called, you'll want to change this to SHA-256. Now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll add the group attribute. And I'm going to uncheck mandatory for the additional attribute. This will help bring the groups in. Next, I'm going to go to the advanced tab and add into the WebSocket origin whitelist the host name for my ClickSense server so that when I connect to the hub, I don't receive any WebSocket disconnect messages. I'll click Apply and then OK. And then under Proxies, I'll go ahead and I will link this to my central node. That takes care of the virtual proxy configuration. I'll refresh the QMC. 
But now what I want to do is go back to that virtual proxy config and click the download SP metadata button. This SP metadata is what I will feed into Active Directory Federation services to set up and configure Active Directory Federation services to talk to ClickSense. I'll cover the Active Directory configuration in the next video.